Welcome one and all. Greetings from Trichy Asaram. Today, I am going to present a case regarding Scapula Winging, a book of case series. Myself, Pagadal Vivek, Himmas of the first year. Author 2, R. Chandru, not 3, V. Kavikovalan. Our guide, Professor K. Venkatachalam, Unit 3 Chief, Department of Orthopedics. Introduction. Scapula Winging is a finding seen with clinical examination of the shoulder. The shoulder blade effectively sticks out rather than lying flat along the back. This outward and upward motion causes the scapula to resemble a bird's wing. Trauma is usually the inciting cause, although a variety of etiologies can cause injury to the associated nerves, including viral illness, allergic reactions, toxic exposure, and surgical complications, medications, and pre existing or developmental medical conditions. The nerve injury results in subsequent weakness and paralysis. Causes of scapular winging condition of scapular winging or scapular protraction occurs because of injury to one of the three medial stabilizing muscles that include the serratus anterior, trapezius and rhomboids. Cause of scapular winging. The function of these three muscles is to keep the scapula stabilized medially against the posterior chest wall with injury to these muscles causing the scapula to lift from the chest wall. Based, on, based upon which muscle is involved, the scapula can deviate either medially or laterally due to the unopposed contraction of the remaining functioning muscles. Medial winging occurs from injury to the serratus anterior and lateral occurs from trapezius or rhomboid paralysis. Medial stabilizers of scapula. In the diagram, we can see the trapezius, rhomboids and the serratus anterior muscles uh, which are the primary medial stabilizing muscles of the scapula. Here, the anatomy of variations of the lateral legs can be seen. Case illustration 1 of trapezius. An 18 year old was involved in a motor vehicle accident 8 weeks prior. He reports pain and weakness with deformity of the scapula. MRI was performed to assess the muscle tear or other injury. The AP frontal x ray is non contributory. MR imaging. A coronal fat suppressed T2 weighted sequence demonstrates diffuse abnormal and homogeneous hyperintern signal within the right trapezius muscle without atrophy, which can be seen with the red arrow. Diagnosis. Isolated trapezius muscular denervation from injury to the spinal axillary nerve, which is a 11th cranial nerve, clinically representing the with scapula winging. Case illustration 2 of serratus anterior. The serratus anterior is critical for allowing the shoulder to tilt and move forward, increasing upward reach. This movement is exaggerated with activities such as punching a bag or swimming crawl and butterfly strokes. Conditions affecting the nerve from producing winging include blood trauma caused by pressure from crutches, sharp trauma from the causes such as shoulder, in, shoulder surgery, and most commonly repetitive action trauma from sports activities. Other non-traumatic causes include infections such as influenza, tumor, toxin, autoimmune, and inflammatory conditions of nerves such as parsonage turner syndrome. A long thoracic nerve injury elicits changes in the muscle, and this nerve is particularly susceptible given its superficial course along the side of the chest wall. Continuation The axial STIR image through the right thorax of a 22 year old with weakness and decreased mobility demonstrates increased signal within the serratus anterior to present with the arrow, position between the right scapula and posterior lateral chest wall. Case illustration 3. Sagittal post contrast T1 weighted fat suppress image in a 50 year old with left anterior chest pain, chest wall pain, and snapping scapula syndrome. The serratus anterior muscle between the second rib and scapula demonstrates an enhancement. Case illustration 4 Coronal oblique T1 weighted image centered over the scapula in a 23 year old with medial scapula pain for 5 years. There is a loss of muscle bulk and intervening fat in intensity within the serratus muscle belly represented with this arrow. Case illustration 5. Sagittal oblique STIR image parallel to the scapular axis and medial to the scapula shows hyperintensity throughout the trapezius muscle represented with the arrow with the maintained, maintained bulk suggesting acute denervation. The muscle lies immediately superficial to the rhomboid muscle. Case illustration 6. 15 year old male presents with trapezius pain with C34 denervation on EMA. Coronal HKR image showing asymmetric diffuse left trapezius muscle edema corresponding to denervation injury of the spinal accessory nerve. Case illustration 7 of the rhomboids. The rhomboid muscle lies deep to the trapezius and both the major and minor components pass inferior lateral from the vertebrae to the medial scapular margin. 
The innervation of this muscle is caused by injury to the dorsal scapular nerve, which is often thought to occur as the nerve passes through the scap scalenus muscle. This is a rare injury with the inciting cause, usually sports activities. Damage causes swinging of the scapula and results in difficulty with throwing and overhead movement. MRI can show denervation changes both acute and chronic. Continuation Axial P1 weighted image through the upper thoracic level reveals marked atrophy and fatty infiltration of the right rhomboid muscle represented with an arrow when compared to the contralateral side. Case illustration 8 Elastrofibroma, a scapula winging simulator differential diagnosis. Axial P1 weighted image demonstrates a mass lesion between the chest wall and more superficial serratus anterior at the level of the inferior angle of the scapula containing internal elements of low signal and increased signal corresponding to fibrous and fatty elements of an elastrofibroma. Case illustration 9 Scapular osteochondroma of a scapula winging simulator's differential diagnosis. Scapular osteochondroma is a rare finding resulting in scapular winging. These benign tumors can Contiguous with the bone cortex can, can arise from the ventral margin of the scapula, producing mass effect within the constricted scapular thoracic space. Continued, sagittal T2 weighted image in a 16 year old female demonstrates a large bony excrescence contiguous with inferior ventral scapular cortex, represented with an arrow, projecting anteriorly to about the chest wall. Notice the distended scapular thoracic bursa with a thick walled pseudocapsule consistent with bursa. Case illustration 10 Venous malformation. Axial HTIR present in the top and axial T1 weighted at the bottom. Images revealing a mixed signal venous malformation situated anterior to the rhomboid major and medial to the serratus anterior. There was no scapular winging and this was discovered incidentally. Case illustration 11 Dissecting intra, intra, Intramuscular ganglion cyst. Axial T1 weighted sequential images represented on the top demonstrate a dissecting intramuscular ganglion cyst within the trapezius emanating from the AC joint and coursing medially. Sagittal and coronal fat suppressed T2 weighted images represented on the bottom reveal the intramuscular position in 60 characters of the lesion. Case illustration 11 Serratus anterior lipoma. Axial T1 weighted and axial fat suppressed proton density weighted images demonstrate an ovoid lesion following fat intensity on all sequences consistent with serratus anterior lipoma. Case illustration 13 Plexiform neurofibroma and deep to left trapezius. Fat suppressed sagittal post contrast T1 weighted and axial T2 weighted images reveal a large infiltrating enhancing mass represented with an arrow deep to the left trapezius muscle remodeling the left 56 rib and extending from the left neural foramen consistent with a plexiform neurofibroma. Case illustration 11 Intramuscular mass in right trapezius. Sagittal fat suppressed T2 weighted and coronal fat suppressed proton density weighted images in a 23 year old female with an enlarging mass over 3 months reveals an intramuscular mass within the right trapezius. The differential included nerve sheath tumor and sarcoma with a pathological diagnosis of proliferative myositis. We can, in the diagram, we can notice the preserved low signal hypointense striations. Case illustration 15. Muscular strain in inferior trapezius. In the diagram, axial fat, fat suppressed proton density weighted image in a 41 year old with posterior periscapular pain demonstrating mild edema related to a muscular pain at inferior trapezius. Scapular winging treatment. Needle scapular winging is usually treated conservatively with observation for at least six months to allow for nerve healing. During this time, physical therapy for muscle strengthening and tapping or bracing is performed. This is a long process and recovery can usually take up to a year or longer for resolution but is successful in great majority of patients. Surgical options for failure of conservative treatment include a split pectoralis major transfer whereby the sternal head of the pectoralis major is transferred to the inferior border of the scapula. Later scapula winging from the injury to the axillary nerve often does not respond to conservative treatment. Here we can see the diagram of the lateral winging and medial winging and which treatment. Continued surgical considerations for failed conservative treatment include exploration of the injury site with neurolysis obtain more favorable results compared to end on end suturing and nerve repair. Most patients post recovery from surgery continue to have a wing deformity. 
Injury is isolated to the trapezius muscle. A special procedure called Eden Lang muscle transfer can be performed whereby portion of the levator scapulae, rhomb rhomboid major and rhomboid ma minor, are diverted to the sides of trapezius attachment. Continued. The later scapular ringing from the injury to the rhomboid dorsal scapular nerve is usually treated conservatively by cervical spine stabilization and physical therapy. Steroid injections and massaging have been noted to occasionally help. Surgery in this condition involves two facial lattice links, the first connecting the lower medial border of the scapula to the spinal muscle and the second spanning from inferior angle of the scapula to the lattice muscle. Conclusion The scapula winging is a dysmorphic abnormality usually caused by injury to one of the innervating nerves of the posterior medial muscle stabilizers of the scapula. This condition causes pain and produces significant limitations of the movement, thereby making activities of daily living difficult. Weakness is a commonality amongst all patients with scapular winging. The diagnosis of scapular wing is usually made clinically, but inciting cause is often not obvious. Continued. Electromyographic studies can help localize the muscle involvement produced in the scapular winging. Diagnostic imaging is not always necessary, but high resolution imaging such as MRI can assist in identifying muscle involvement and allow localization of the affected area where nerve impingement or damage. Treatment is usually conservative and focuses on strengthening the surrounding non-affected muscles while providing pain relief. Sometimes, surgery is performed from refractory cases that do not respond to less invasive treatment. And here are the references which I have been using. Thank you.